name service. In order for communication to take place, clients have to know the locations of servers. This knowledge can be uh, put directly into clients, but this is not very flexible and it's not easy to manage such a system. Name service is an additional component that is visible to everybody and that plays the role of a phone book. Servers announce their locations in this phone book and clients query the name service for the locations of their servers. After obtaining the location of the server, client can communicate with the server the usual way. In this simple system, name service can look like an unnecessary complication, but it can be very helpful in bigger systems where there are many servers and many clients because name service is a single location that has to be known to everybody. Let's see how it works in practice. Uh, you can see three terminal windows. In the top window, I will run uh, the name server, which is a component uh, in, in YAMI4 distribution. You can see that the name server uh, obtained uh, its uh, port from the configuration file. Is this one? This is the number of, uh, of the port. And here I will start the server, which is just a di different version of the of the server example, where instead of the listening address instead of the listening port, I provide as a parameter the address of the, of the name server. As you can see, the address of the server, this one, was announced, it was bound in the name server with the name calculator. So now the, the server is known to the name service. And here I will start the client again providing the, the address of the name service so the client doesn't have to know where the server is it's enough if it knows where the name service is and then two parameters i will run it and as you can see the client obtained the address the location of the actual server from the name service and then it was able to communicate with the server the usual way Thank you.